So when it comes to religion, I really do think that it can be a great thing for some people. And I know it's something that has saved many individuals in the darkest times of their life. And for some people, it's really all they have. So I would never speak ill of someone for practicing religion or wanting to have a relationship with a higher power. But where some religious people really start to lose me is when they feel the need to shove their personal beliefs down everyone's throat. I just really don't think that's what the higher power would want. And there's a huge difference between spreading a message and trying to enforce a message upon other people, especially when it's an adult dealing with another adult. Like you are not about to tell me how to live my life based on your rules. That's actually been one of my favorite things about getting older is that you can tell other adults to fuck off instead of having to listen to them just because they're older than you. And this is where the highlight of today's story comes into play. A Christian man was out at a public beach with his family when they came across a group of young women sunbathing, just enjoying the day like everyone else, completely minding their own business. And I guess this good Christian just couldn't keep his eyes off of those young bodies, because he just had to say something completely unprovoked about the way they were dressed. Why do you dress this way? Dude, I'm hot and I like women, so please leave us alone. Well, Kindly. Well, take, take young I'm at the beach in take, my bathing take, suit. Yeah, that's, that's a thong and that's a bra. That is a take, fucking bathing take suit. Take young sir. guys into consideration. They don't need to see pornography right We're not coming up to you, bothering you. Please go away. You're flaunting your stuff. I'm not flaunting anything. Don't look at me. How, how, you look around and, and you the only thing that sticks out because your whole body Okay, well, showing. why are you looking at me? Close your eyes. What no. if you just say is gouge no. your no. eyes out if I fucking Dude, bother I you? Okay, so this man is at a public beach and expects everyone to be dressed like it's some sort of nun's convention. I mean, you really can't make this stuff up. And let me let you guys in on a little secret. If you go to the beach, there will be people in bathing suits. Who would have thought? This guy would absolutely lose his mind. He would probably have an aneurysm if he went somewhere like Europe with the topless women and the men sporting speedos. Also, someone showing off skin at the beach really has nothing to do with X-rated movies. It seems like only in America is the human body considered so taboo. And I do believe it's because everything here is hypersexualized, just like this dude's mind. I mean, he's literally admitting to his own wife that he can't stop staring at these teenage girls bodies. The other part of this that really doesn't make sense to me is that he's causing a much bigger scene and drawing way more attention to these women than he would have if he just didn't say anything at all. Also, the dude himself is tatted up, something that is definitely looked down upon in the Bible. So couldn't someone say that him showing off this ink offends them? Hey, you're not treating your body as a temple, dude. I mean, the hypocrisy is off the charts. But here's the thing, there's okay. free will in America. There's no, freedom bro, of speech. You don't want to get the fuck and, away. And if, and, if, and if men of God don't stand up, then our society's gonna go, go down the drain because there's no morality. I'm atheist, sorry. Yeah, same. If you're an atheist, that doesn't mean you have to, you know, show your body off. You can still put clothes on. Oh, I can't with you. <laughs> Speaking truth, your body will never ever satisfy. Please. The physical will never ever satisfy. There's a longing in each of your hearts to actually be seen. The reason why, <laughs> the reason why you're showing your body because you're like, Dude. am I pretty enough? Sir, we're definitely Please pretty enough. Thank you. <laughs> hey, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So at that point, this clown obviously went into full preacher mode. This is what I'm talking about when I say enforcing your beliefs upon other people. And it's so ironic that he of all people talks about freedom of speech and freedom of expression while trying to dictate what a group of young women he doesn't even know are doing. If you're not comfortable with your kids seeing some skin, this was not the place to take them, dude. Also, your children are not everyone else's responsibility. And his kids could probably care less about the women in the bathing suits. They probably just want to build sandcastles and feed the seagulls and shit. <laughs> What would you like to what wear? What do you consider a, a bathing a suit? A one-piece, literally. What? <laughs> there's gonna come a day when you're gonna come face to face with God. <laughs> and, <laughs> and he says it's better so for a milk. So do you know milk. God says do not he judge? Said, he, said it's, thou he, thou said, judge. he said it's better for a milk. Oh, and if you find so someone's body distracting, then gouge your fucking oh, eyes out. Yeah, what about that one? <laughs> So they go on laughing at this man, the clip obviously goes viral, and then they even made a follow-up TikTok where they clear up a couple of things. I guess the people of the internet identified this man and found out that he actually had these children out of wedlock. 
something else that's very frowned upon in the Christian community. But I guess this clown is only interested in enforcing the Bible passages that don't pertain to him. They also revealed that there were nine girls there that day in this group, and that his kids were not even paying any attention to them when they first got to the beach, and that the man came up to them for absolutely no reason. Okay, so this is everyone except Maddie who took the picture. None um, of them are thong style bikinis, which even if they were, it, it would, would not, not matter. matter. It wouldn't. But, um, but this they were wearing. really normal bikinis. There were lots of other people wearing the same stuff. It was a public beach. Mm -hmm. So yeah, obviously this is nothing out of the ordinary. It's not like they were chilling out there topless. And anywhere you go where there is water, you will see women dressed like this. I mean, hell, if you go into downtown Austin, women can just wear absolutely no shirt. As far as this guy goes, it's probably time for him to start taking a bath in some holy water to cleanse that dirty, dirty mind. I mean, how embarrassing for him, right? Pretty much just admitting to being a perv. But let me know what you guys think about the situation down below. Don't mean to offend any religious people out here. I don't think this guy is like a true Christian by any means. But let me know what you guys think down below. I want to thank you guys for dropping a like on today's video and subscribing if you're not. Of course, I encourage you to go follow me on my social medias. That's at Jamari Speaks on both Twitter and Instagram. And as you guys know, it's been your boy the Tan Superman. And I'm out. Peace!